everybody how's it going so yesterday i talked about the male gaze versus the female gaze in terms of fragrances and if you didn't watch that video it was pretty much what men think women find attractive versus what women actually find attractive and vice versa what women think men find attractive versus what they actually find attractive um, with perfumes colognes fragrances all of that and one fragrance that kept repeatedly getting brought up was Creed Aventus. And the funny thing about it was everybody was on the same page with their opinion about Aventus, guys and girls. And that conclusion was that Creed Aventus is more of a boxer dropper than a panty dropper. Now, I know somebody like hearing that is like, well, no, women love it on me, they love it. We, we get it, it's okay, relax, relax. We're not saying that women don't love Aventus and only guys love Aventus. I'm saying that the love that women have for Aventus is disproportionately smaller than the love that men have for Aventus, which is astronomical. For example, with my experience testing the fragrance, I like Aventus. I, th I don't love it, but I like it, right? Um, when I was wearing it, girls liked it. They were like, oh yeah, like this is this is a nice scent. This smells good. This smells good. Um, but then when guys smelled it, they were they were going nuts. They were going stupid over this fragrance. It was like an aggressive type of love, you know, where they were like, oh, that shit smells good. Melissa, what are you wearing? That smells so fucking good, you know? They wanted to know what it was, and it was just like, you know, I got the wide eyes of like, oh, that is a masterpiece. You know, in their eyes, that's what I saw. And that was also what was said. Um, so, like, as you could tell, both loved Aventus, but one clearly loved it more than the other. So the question that follows is, or the question that I received was, this guy asked, okay, if Aventus is the male gaze of Creed, what is the female gaze? What is the scent in Creed's offering that has women fawning over it? And the answer is right behind me. It's the only Creed bottle I have in my collection, Silver Mountain Water. So this fragrance, this fragrance, every woman, every girl that has smelled this in my collection has done pretty much this same reaction where they do this. <clears throat> They'll be like, what's that white bottle up there? I'll bring it down, hand it to them. Without saying anything, I'm like, smell this, right? So they'll pop this open and then they'll kind of tilt like this and then cross their arms and smell it like this. And then their eyes would go wide and then they kind of readjust their stance, step a little bit closer to me, put both hands on the bottle and smell it again. And just be like, and it's just quiet. They're like, oh my God. And then they'll spray it in the air, close their eyes, waft it in the air and just melt with this scent. That is not a onesie, twosie type of reaction I've seen. That was pretty much, no, not pretty much. That was every girl that I have had smell Silver Mountain Water in my collection, where it's like, it's a dreamy type of reaction where it's like, oh my God, that smells so good, you know? So whereas the men had this aggressive sort of love for Aventus, the women had this dreamlike love and just like that dreamlike kind of oh, like that, mm, with, silver mountain water it was so like the differences were amazing but i mean still still a lot of love right whereas when guys smell this in my collection they do this they smell it yeah it's nice i get it i get it right but it wasn't was not nearly how much like it wasn't did not come close to the reaction that women gave with silver mountain water um yeah, oh, this is this is nice. This is really nice. I do take Silver Mountain Water over Aventus, and I think a conversation that not a lot of people are ready to hear, um, and this comes more, well, yeah, is that, of course, you can wear whatever you want, right? But from what I see sometimes, like when I'm talking about unisex fragrances, is it's, there's guys that are like, no one should wear a unisex fragrance because like, I want to just smell like a man. I'm a man, I don't wanna smell like something a woman would wear. I'm a guy, I'm a man, and you know what I mean? This big bravado. And if you wanna wear masculine, masculine fragrances, go for it, all up to you, right? But I will say, from a feminine nose standpoint, let's take a fragrance like Red Tobacco, that is from Mancera, Mancera, that is extremely masculine, 
when I smelled that fragrance, I was turned off immediately. I didn't even wash it off my arm because I wanted to see how the dry down would be. I even sprayed it on the air. I sprayed it on clothes because who knows, it could have been my skin chemistry, but it wasn't just my skin chemistry. I just, that, I rebuked that fragrance, right? I don't like it. Um, and it's a scent that other girls smelled it when I was testing it. And they were like, that shit stinks. Like that was a reaction that I received. Whereas guys were like, oh yeah, that smells pretty good. That smells pretty good. So sometimes if something is too far on the spectrum, it can become like almost not gross smelling, but just like not attractive to like, you know, the other gender, like, you know, uh, the feminine nose, for example. So I just find that interesting. Um, and with, with unisex fragrances, another thing that I've seen, which is another conversation not a lot of people are ready for, is that unisex fragrances pull like no other. If you see my top 10 videos, for the most part, the ones in my top 10 with the highest compliment factor and all that with the best ladies reactions are unisex fragrances. And if you're asking yourself why, this is what I think, okay? Everyone can have their own opinion, but I think it's because with a unisex fragrance, when a woman smells it, even with guys too, but there's a sense of familiarity with it where it's like, okay, it's not too off-putting where it's like, okay, this one's trying too hard. You know what I mean? Like when I smell red tobacco, it's like that smells like it's trying too hard. But when you have something like Silver Mountain Water, something like Side Effect, something like Carlisle and Tuxedo by YSL, there are these fragrances that are fam like, familiar is a word, but it it's so likable and it draws you in. You know, it's something that is, it's welcoming. That's a better way to say it. You know, where it's like, okay, like this is somebody like, it smells like something you would want to approach. Cause yes, it smells sexy, but it's not too like either too much or trying too hard to be masculine to a point where it's like, yeah, I don't want to be around that. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, there's this something about unisex fragrances from my testings so far that blow every fragrance like in terms of like the fragrances marketed strictly to men versus unisex the unisex ones are what pull mad game that is what i have seen that is what i've experienced and it's just that's that's for me everyone is entitled to wear whatever they want if you only want to wear masculine fragrances totally go for it it's it's all you it's all you same on the feminine side you know what i mean there are some women that only want to wear strictly feminine and that's totally fine um but sometimes really feminine floral powdery scents get a bit like nauseating and headache inducing to the masculine nose where they're like oh, that's, that's too much you know so sometimes when something meets in the middle and of course the skin chemistry is huge right so the way that side effect smells on me or actually not side effect will take Tuxedo, for example, the way the tuxedo smells on me will smell different on a guy that is very like a big burly man, you know? And in fact, even though people say tuxedo is a masculine fragrance, I've received comments from guys that are like, that's too feminine for me. So you know what I mean? This, it is marketed as a unisex, but to some people it's more masculine. To some guys, it's way too feminine for them. Um, but I just thought that was interesting with Silver Mountain Water. Yeah, this... I think this, in terms of the feminine nose, from what I've experienced, it definitely reigns superior over Aventus. Anyways, let me know what you think. I'm going to put discount site links for both Aventus and Silver Mountain Water in the description. And I hope you have a great day. All right, see you later. Bye.